The Utica Comets uh, president, Rob Esch, standing by on the line right now. Good morning, Rob. Good morning. Hey, what's up, brother? Uh, listen, uh, we're hearing good news for Travis Green. Uh, not so great news for us, but uh, what do we know? Uh, an announcement expected today on Travis Green. Yeah, I think it's uh, probably going to happen. I mean, um, I know they got to go through some procedures here yet with the uh, NHL and with uh, Vancouver, but as far as I know, everything... Uh, Hopefully, it's going to be good. Um, and, and obviously, this is what, uh, you know, people, we forget this, that the AHL is there for a reason, right? Yeah, I, I think it's, you know, it's obviously a stepping stone into the NHL. I mean, that's uh, it's kind of like a badge of honor a little bit to be able to to have the team, you know, and, and to have them go where they're going, the kids rather, and go up to uh, the NHL. So I think, uh, you know, it works no different for coaches either. Uh, all right, pretty uh, pretty awesome. Uh, and I, I think we've gotten it, uh, an announcement on coaching. This is what Vancouver is saying right now. An announcement on coaching is going to be coming at some point today on their website. Yeah, I think they're uh, 11 o'clock. Uh, 11 o'clock. They're doing, uh, I think, specific time, 11 o'clock Pacific time, I believe. And they're making the announcement uh, that they're going to make a decision on coaching. I mean, I think it's uh, probably the worst kept secret. I'm yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's let's let happen. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know he was in the running for I think a position or two last year as well in the off season. So Rob, I wanted to ask you. Obviously, he's a highly sought after guy. When it comes to and you know the local fans and the local players, obviously a great opportunity to have uh, Travis Green as the head coach. When it comes to replacing him, let's say if this pans out, is that a decision that comes from the Canucks or do you have local control over who coaches the Comets? No, I have, no, I have no control over that. That's, uh, that's hockey operations, hockey development, you know, developing the players to get them to the NHL quicker. So, I mean, that's all on uh, Vancouver. Sure. Um, I know Greener is going to have a big impact on who is placed here. I know I've been hearing some names, and I think whoever lands here is going to be a great coach, So, uh, at least from the names that I've been hearing. Now, this is a, a, a stupid question. I just want to preface that uh, right <laughs> off the bat. Uh, but I mean, listen. You're you're now a uh, a hockey AHL hockey executive. Uh, uh, obviously, with all of your your contacts and your time in the NHL, and uh, do you have any any thoughts? Of, boy, I wish I was uh, I, instead of the executive side. I wish I was I was up there on that bench. Uh, like on where? Like uh, I, when you look at Travis Green, is there any time you look and say? That would have been a direction I would like to go, maybe in coaching. Uh, or are you just tickled pink to be where you are as executive in, in, no, in the front no, office? I, I'm very happy where I am. Coaching, yeah. I feel, is a very arduous task to, to complete successfully. And yeah. I look at uh, you know the time that's put in, even with the assistant coaches, they do a remarkable job. So I, I'm, I'm very, very comfortable. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> comfortable I, is the operative word. <laughs> as I as I said, it was a stupid question. I just uh, I, I had to I had to ask it. And quickly off target, just a little bit here. Uh, you guys have construction is going to be starting soon. Big things coming to the odd. Big things yeah. coming for next year for the Utica Comets. Yeah, I think uh, you know it's uh, it's it's been a shot in the arm even for me to be quite honest. Uh, turning the staff over and moving forward in a, a new direction. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the construction. I'm excited about uh, working with a new coach. Um, you know, it's a chance for us to get uh, intertwined with the community once again. So I think all in all, it's going to be great. There's a lot of great things happening in Utica. And uh, to be, you know, kind of in at least uh, down where it's all happening is yeah. awesome. Uh, listen, I, I know many women who are like, did I hear they're going to be adding a bathroom, a, a ladies' room suite? Uh, that's a big deal for ladies. Yeah, it is. I mean, I got to tell you, it's, it's been the biggest uh, train wreck for the four years I've been there so far. Mm. And it's so sad to see, you know, uh, the little girls, you know, waiting for the, to go to the bathroom and, you know, the lines all the way past the production booth or past one of the concession stands. And it's, it's really sad. So, we're in uh, a lot of women's bathrooms, um, so I, I don't know. I think it's uh, uh, 13, 13 or fourteen. So it's, uh, that's a huge, huge difference considering we only got nine in the building. Yeah. All right. Well, that's uh, that is big. And before we know it, we're going to be uh, there'll be tickets available. Um, uh, how many? Uh, do you have any idea right now? And I, I know it's it's really early for that, but not really. Uh, people's opportunity to be able to pick up season tickets for next year. 
Yeah, so we we're, we're running around 95% retention right now, and we have a waiting list. Uh, that you can get on. I, I think that's great. Um, but uh, we're also losing some of the seats for the suites. Mm. So we're actually losing seats. We're picking up, you know, a, a surplus of around 200. But, you know, some of those um, some of those seats around that area on the west side we're going to be missing. So, you know, it, it's getting to be a little uh, different. You know, like, obviously, we're not, you know, we're not idiots. We know that uh, we got to do a better job of trying to transfer tickets uh, yeah, yeah. to each game. But it's been been great it's been a very you know it's always remained a civic pride piece and, and i love it that way uh there was an issue um uh the owner of the syracuse crunch made a statement the other day about how uh uh you know fans uh, the, the money hasn't come in to the war memorial like it has in other places and you know they don't support uh you know utica they don't support hockey like we do here in syracuse oh, get out of here. what in the hell is that statement <laughs> well you know i i uh i really do i, I love howard dolgan i like against him i think he's a remarkable owner he's got a remarkable staff um i mean when you face facts i mean we we have uh, been very fortunate to let hockey be a catalyst of um our economy a little bit yeah. you know like to kind of give us a little bit of shot in the arm while we're waiting for other things to happen and i think in syracuse you know it's a university town and it's uh you know the on center there it's it's difficult to get money in there for him right now and I, I wish that they would because I, I agree with Howard. I think he's been such a remarkable owner, and too many times we don't uh, applaud that and you know keep on moving that forward. So, uh, although I don't like him at all <laughs> when we compete against one another, yeah. I do. Uh, I have a lot of respect. For and, and, and I got to give him credit for uh, marketing 101. I mean, uh, you know, when he says a statement like that, knowing full well that Utica is in the middle of a sellout streak. Uh, you know it's going to anger some people, and uh, that's going to make some uh, headlines and get some clicks. So probably a, yeah, a the, smart the comment. Best is, the best is what he calls me before he does the interview, so he gets all the information. They just uh, he claims it is his own. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. That's awesome. All right, listen, I appreciate it. We went a little longer, but I appreciate your time as always. And, uh, you know, it looks like uh, congratulations in order for Travis Green. Really awesome. Yep. All right, uh, thanks, Rob.